Hello, my name is Baron Becker, and I'm one of the research librarians here at San Jose State. I am the librarian for psychology, counselor education, and child and adolescent development. I have built research guides for each of these departments, listed here and the web addresses. You will visit these research guides to connect to databases and other library resources. You can also contact me for assistance at baron.becker at sjsu.edu. Today I'm going to talk to you about developing a research topic and the steps that go into gathering resources in order to write a research paper. For most of the process, your goal is writing a research topic that is supported by research articles. Research articles are located in scholarly databases, such as PsycInfo and ERIC. You'll search databases for articles that focus on the concepts of your research topic. These concepts are also components. Your first step is to develop a research topic statement. Here are some examples of research topics. Let's use this example and learn how to develop it. Risk factors for bullying. When you s decide upon a topic, you need to ask yourself, is there a specific people group, also known as a demographic, connected with your topic? Because research articles tend to be very specific, consider focusing your topic on a specific group of people. With our examples of risk factors for bullying, we would add a group of people, middle school students, and our topic is now risk factors for bullying in middle school students. While researching, you may uncover new details on your topic, such as the effects of something, comorbidity, effective treatments, or interventions. As you research your topic, be open to including different aspects of the topic in order to successfully write about it. In our example, using risk factors for bullying in middle school students, after you do some research, you might see that there's a lot written about interventions as well. So your topic could be expanded to risk factors and interventions for bullying in middle school students. If you are having trouble generating ideas about your topic, then you should take a few minutes to gather some background information. You can learn basic information about your topic by searching the DSM-4, or simply going to Wikipedia, or even checking out psychology.wikia.com. You want to discover the language that's being used to discuss your topic. Some other background information might be, are there specific theories or treatments associated with your topic? Are there certain groups of people affected by your topic? As you learn about your topic, it is okay to modify your research topic so that it reflects what is being studied. Step 2. Identify the specific concepts or components in your topic statement. Now that you have a direction for your research, identify the concepts or the subjects of your topic. In social science research, concepts tend to be 1. a group of people, 2. a status, illness, event, condition, or phenomenon, or 3. a specific feature or element within the above status, illness, event, condition, or phenomenon. Using our example of risk factors and interventions for bullying in middle school students, we can identify each of these components. Our people group would be middle school students. The event or phenomenon that we're focusing on is bullying. 
And then the specific feature of bullying that we're focusing on is risk factors and interventions. Next, you will need to begin making a list of synonyms for the concepts that you have identified in your topic statement. These will help you uncover all of the research on your topic. Make a list. Using our concept of bullying, we would generate a list of synonyms. For bullying, some other ways of talking about bullying would be teasing, harassing, to terrorize or oppress. Your next step is to translate these concepts into database terms. The databases that contain the articles you are looking for are very technical. They use specific language when discussing your topic. For example, the databases generally don't use the word teenagers they use adolescents. Instead of grades, a lot of scholarly databases use the term academic performance. In social science research, when we're talking about troubled children, the databases tend to describe them as at-risk youth. Use the database to help you uncover more search terms for your topic. Most databases have tools like a thesaurus or key terms. Use the database thesaurus to translate the concepts you have identified in your research topic. Using our example of risk factors and interventions for bullying in middle school students, I searched the thesaurus for the concept of bullying. The thesaurus can also provide you with a series of other useful search terms. Now you can refine your list of synonyms and other relevant search terms for each of the concepts in your topic statement. Middle school students can be described as pre-teens, 6th, 7th, or 8th grade students. Bullying can be referred to as teasing, harassment, or oppress. Risk factors can be described as causality, predisposition, or at-risk populations. Interventions can be described as school-based interventions, early intervention, or prevention. As you can see using our example, we now have a list of synonyms for each of the concepts in our database. Now we can begin searching the database using the terms and concepts you have identified.